Uh, my name's Jack Frame. Uh, Mephoromi is, as in picture frame. I am apparently an artist, but I'd probably say painter slash printmaker um, before that. But hopefully I'll become an artist at some point. Thousands and thousands of people are producing beautiful art um, in art schools, uh, whether they're young, whether they're old, that's irrelevant. There's a lot of work being produced everywhere, and a lot of it gets turfed out onto an enormous heap and never sees the light of day. Um, never gets looked at, never gets a critical review. Um, you know, and if they're not selling, and there is no gallery here in the real world that is going to put their work on the wall and allow people to come and look and get interested, um, where do they go? What happens to these people? What has been happening to these people over the last you know, 50 years? Who knows? Um, so to be able to, to have an engine whereby they are put into the real world, people can make up their own minds, the work is looked at, whether it's reviewed, um, they're given the hope and the, the chance to actually put their work into another arena is a wonderful thing. Mm. And if you, you know, this idea of the 19th century arrangement, you go into the drawing room, you wander around and someone says, that's a good punt, that's a good gamble, buy this one or buy that one. That is such an old, it's antiquated. You know, why can't people make up their own minds? What's wrong with that? Mm. Um, all you have to do is present it to them in a form which they understand. And today, it's, it's online, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, that's the worrying thing for me because I've had to deal in the physical world for the last six years. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I'm an emerging artist still, probably. Yeah. But it's a very difficult thing because you have to make sales, you have to prove you can make sales, yeah. and the day that you stop making sales, yeah. you're then moved out. You don't have any say about what you really want to do and whether you're really happy with the work. Hence the reason saying painting and printmaking, not artist yet. One day, maybe when it's financially viable, you can say artist. In terms of selling art online, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much anything goes. Um, it's such a, a depressing position to be in if you're one of the people that aren't selected to go in this very small gallery or this, this area, this, um, this physical world. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to produce work in the way that you want to, to be able to work with ideas, um, things that you've, that you've put together, mm -hmm. um, and to continue to make work, and knowing that there will be a forum that people will look at it, mm -hmm is the most important thing. And to, to, have a, to have a studio, to go into the mm. studio and have to work um, to satisfy someone in some ways is, is, a, is an enormous problem. Mm. Um, it, you know, it, unless you can get over that hurdle and allow yourself the time, the opportunity to work on what you want to do, and that there are, the successful artists now in the last 20 years have managed to do that. They've had to make a living through other means. They've got to a point where they are successful in terms of the gallery, and then one day they can produce work that they love, mm. they want to produce. It becomes art. Today, you can continue from the word go, when you're still young, when you're still interested, you still have vitality. Mm. You can produce whatever you want to produce, mm. regardless of whether people are going to mm. say that's good, that's bad, indifferent, because you have a forum, you have an engine to get out there into the world. Exactly. And that, that's, that, that, this is the way things are now. You can't continue to have a physical space with somebody saying, this is good, this is bad, because it doesn't allow for anything else. It's too confining. It's too confining. Yeah. There are, there are, it's, a, it's a baby in a harness yeah. scenario, and it doesn't have to be that. And it's not anymore, and this is a wonderful thing. You can have um, work out there. It's scary. The idea of art fetch. I mean, it's, in some ways, if, you know, having people really look at your work is going to be annoying having done work that you haven't wanted necessarily to do in some respects because it has to go into a space and it fits into someone else's pattern. Yeah. Um, to, be, to, be, to be able to produce something that, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want is a scary, scary thing. Mm. No limitations. Yeah. There, are, there are no barriers. Um, it's scary in terms of the implications that that can have on you. Um, you can actually live from day to day just thinking, mm. you know, which is a strange position to be in. Mm. Whereas once upon a time it may have been living from day to day in terms of I'll do this and I'll do this and maybe that'll give me time to do this, I'm kind of thinking about this, maybe if I do that, those constraints will fall away. Yeah. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. Um, you know, especially from people graduating now yeah. to have that platform. I don't know, I don't think that's existed before. Yeah. You know, the number of, of art schools now that are producing very, 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 very complicated, difficult work to get into, um, that, that it's actually coming out now in every art school, um, produced on every continent, every major city, every major town, even people that even haven't even necessarily gone to art schools sometimes that have been affiliated, that are working, 
I've never really had a voice, never really had a springboard into anything else. There's always a list of five or six that, that make that grade. But to, to have that hope, you know, dangled there at that, at that age, to be, to be able to carry on producing something is a wonderful thing, you know. And that's undeniable. I don't think anyone would want to deny that to begin with, especially at the beginning of a career, you know. Why should there be a barrier to any kind of, you know, you know beginning of the career emerging artist? whatever the guidelines for that, is that one, ten years, fifteen years, whatever, a mid-career, end of career, does that exist? Um, the person that's broken down by the end of it or whatever. Um, it, it, you know, as soon as possible, but it could be something that, that is always looking. I mean, what you're looking, really, what you're talking about here is actually finding things in the world that people are producing that are wonderful in any shape or form, whatever that takes on. And as soon as you put a limitation on that, there's always a slight... Uh, the major erection is we can go anywhere, do anything, and we can find artists that have been working for 50 years. Yeah. They just haven't decided or haven't wanted to or they haven't been lucky enough to uh, have an outlet for it. Well, what's wrong with that? People exist everywhere that have been doing this. But, you know, those rigid controls, those rigid confines, um, you know, where am I in my career? I have no idea. Um, it's a very difficult thing to answer. Uh, so, I mean, there's beautiful, wonderful things being produced uh, in, in every guise at the moment, and it's all out there. All we need to do is look for it, and that's, and that's a wonderful thing. And that's never been done before, definitely not been done before, certainly not by galleries. Mm. Um, going to a degree show is a wonderful thing. It's wonderful to see the work in real life, all of these things. There's, there's no reason why that can't happen in any condition. Um, but for people to be out there actively looking indiscriminately for people that are making things um, or doing things or recording things it should be a, <laughs> it's a fantastic endeavor fantastic